what this means to you being so close to your family and friends and playing college. Well, f first of all, it is good to uh, uh, be back, come back home and actually get a win. I had a few family members down here, a brother and a sister. But more importantly than that, all they wanted me to do was just get a win. And, you know, we hadn't had one in a while. And, you know, we got to win, and it, and it feels good. What does it mean to get five turnovers for the second game in a row the first time in some history? Well, when you do that and you don't turn it over, which we didn't do today, first time in a while, there's a pretty good chance you have a chance to win the fall game. One more thing about game balls. Who got game balls? Well, we didn't give out any game balls today. We ain't won enough ball games to get any game balls today, John. We're, 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 the whole team would get a game ball if we were giving out a game ball. What about you? No game ball from me. Well, you know what? That's the thing about when you have mobile quarterbacks. You know, they basically have everything covered down the field, and when they got covered down the field, there's nobody assigned to him. And when you're mobile like he is, uh, you get those kinds of plays. He actually did it a couple other times to uh, get us some positive yardage when we could have gotten negative yardage on the play. You talk about Desmond King and his interceptions and how big he came up for him. Well, uh, you know what? He, he played consistent today. You know, he's, uh, he's a tough football player. Uh, I mean, a guy plays hard all the time. Uh, he did his job today. He was in position, and he got in position. He got a chance to make some plays. Once the offense started to stall, going up four, three, and out there, what, what were we all trying to do to break out of the blocks? We were trying to do the same thing we were doing, Brooks, that we were doing before that. There wasn't no stall. We just didn't do very good in that, those three series. What was your reaction when you saw Tyrod Tyre sneak into the end zone? Uh, hold on to the ball. <laughs> you know, hold on to the ball. How hard was the rain out there? Could, uh, Go ahead. Well, it's been a long time since we felt that. Uh, it's tough to win in this league. <laughs> it doesn't matter who you play. And we tell our guys this. At this point in the season, records don't matter. Records do not matter. When you play in this league, in the National Football League, and you go out and you get five turnovers and you don't turn the ball over, it doesn't matter who you play. You will have a pretty good chance to win a football game. And How much was the rain? How much of an issue was that? The rain was no issue. We didn't turn the ball over at all. Uh, they did a great job of protecting the football. But I think the thing about us protecting the football is I thought our offensive line and our defensive line today got our guys to the line of scrimmage, and our backs aren't fumblers. Those guys always protect the football. And uh, we didn't run the ball as well as we'd like to run the ball today. We still got an improvement there. Uh, obviously, having Tyrod's legs helps us do that. But we're still not where we need to be running the football. Well, I tell you what, he does, he does a good job, Rex. I mean, he, the thing about Rex is Rex is a good football player that is always going to get the ball downhill. I think there was one play he got where he slipped. Other than that one play, he always is going to get you a zero or a plus play. And it's important when you have backs to do that. But our line did a great job of making sure that he got to the line of scrimmage. And our other backs doing the same thing. Uh, I'm not really sure yet, Aaron, how serious it is, but... Uh, you know, we'll find out more tomorrow. What does it mean to have quite a few guys out on the defense and still have a performance? Well, I mean, you know, the, this that scheme, you know. They, they're, we're ten games into it now. Those guys, we've moved guys around all year long trying to find that right combination. And uh, those guys now for the last two, three weeks have been playing the same guys. It's playing together. And they're starting to do the right things. And when you do that, you have a chance and you, you do what we did today. You... You get turnovers, you know. Unfortunately, we gave up a couple of big plays that we didn't want to give up today that, you know, could have put us in a bad situation, but they come back around and end up getting a turnover. Y'all got that turnover down to, um, that, that interception from Tommy to get down there. Did you feel like that was a moment where you needed points or, or go for it? I mean, in that situation, like, uh, you know, how big of a moment was that to make a decision? Well, you know, we felt like we needed points for sure. We knew then if we got points, uh, if I remember correct, I think it may have been it. There's, it's a two-score ball game. Well, it's up to six. Up to six? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure which one, Brooks, you're talking about. Uh, in, the, in the very first half? Uh, I'd have to look up to see. I can't even remember that situation. I know, obviously, it was tough sledding with the passing game. But just did you feel like now that you've had one game under the belt, did you feel like he got sharper overall? Well, the good thing about all I want to see him do was don't throw it to the other team. He didn't do that today, and uh, when he doesn't do that, we're going to have a chance to win. Do we need to be better and more consistent at throwing it? Yes, we do. Same thing with our run game. 
But the big thing is, is you'll have a chance as long as you protect the football. He did that today. Well, it, Brooks, it's not just the back end of the season. It's just the next game. When we came off the bye week, all we wanted to do was take it one game at a time. The only opponent that we were concerned about was the Tennessee Titans. And after 24 hours a day, when we enjoy this one here, it's on to the Jets. And it's just winning. Just winning in this league. That's, that's our job. That's what we play for. And, you know, we got seven more to go. And basically the only one that matters is the Jets coming up. I believe that's who we play. Well, when you get two offsides, that's not very good. You know, we talked about last night in our meeting about offensively not getting false starts and going from first and uh, 10 to first and 15. Uh, also talked about on defense going from first and 10 to first and five. When you do that, that puts you, they, you know, get momentum. It puts us in a tough situation. First of all, we, we got to be able to eliminate those kinds of mistakes. But he plays hard. He plays hard all the time. Uh, but he's got to learn to be able to stay on side. He played a good game. He played a good game. Thanks, sir. Thank You're you. welcome. Yeah, it felt great, you know. Um, you know, coming off the losing streak we've had, and to go out there and play a game uh, for four quarters and finish it with a win is huge. Um, you know, huge for this team. Um, just all around, great ball, offense, defense, special teams. Um, you know, big plays out there as well. So, um, you know, it, it feels good for sure. How do you describe the kind of game it was where you felt like you had to get those short yardage? Yeah, um, you know, offensive line, they did a tremendous job in those situations. And, uh, you know, with the weather and, you know, field conditions, that's what it had to be. And, uh, you know, they're very physical up front, you know, making the job easier for me, David, and Phillip, um, you know, to get those yards when we needed it in uh, short yard situations. What does it mean when you guys have a rainstorm like that and yet you don't turn it over? Yeah, that, that's huge. Um, you know, when we don't turn the ball over, um, you know, Good things tend to happen, so that's what we try to do. And um, you know, you try to keep two hands on the ball as much as possible, and be smart in certain situations. And um, when you do that, you always put yourself in a position to win. Oh yeah, hey, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's an amazing play, tremendous play. Um, to see your quarterback uh, do that, especially, you're kind of like, oh shoot, like you know, this come down in one piece, and uh, you know, he's he's a tremendous player. That's the you know the the fighter he is. Just a sacrifice for his team, and you know, give up his body there was uh, you know pretty cool. How much does the offense appreciate the defense doing what it did today with five turnovers with all the struggling with the ball? Yeah, it's it's huge. Um, you know, they played their tails off and made some. You know, big time interceptions and uh, big moments. I think it was Des there at the end, the interception. Um, you know, on the one yard line, end up getting it. But um, I mean, it just helps us out. You know, giving us the ball back, putting us in a position to succeed. Uh, Kamu had the long interception um, return there, and so that gives us you know short field position, and uh, you know gives us an opportunity to go score. What were they doing that kind of limited you guys in the second half instead of the first? Yeah, you know they, um, you know, had some movement up front. You know, they. Had, uh, Good job making some adjustments, and um, but you know we just kept trying to grind it out. And uh, like I said, the offensive line uh, did a tremendous job. You know, really grinding, being physical where we needed to be, and um, just to make sure we keep keep going forward and uh, also playing smart with the football. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to lead off with saying lactic acid is one hell of a drug. That thing, that thing bit me up today. Whew. Hold on, I'm going to call. All right, let's do this. I was excited I made the play, but I got to score that. I got to score that. <laughs> but, I mean, we played good defense today, man. We played good team ball, and we're just so excited. I, mean, I can't even talk right now. I'm so excited. I mean, we put a huge emphasis on it every week. You know, defense comes in. Lovey, you know, that's that's his number one thing is takeaways. 
So, um, I mean, it's it's not just an accident for sure. Did your teammate take a hard attack for not getting it? Oh, yeah, I'm going to have a – I'm not going to be able to live that one now for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, this is huge, you know, to you know get this thing rolling. I mean, it's been it's been tough. It's been super tough, um, you know, to to get a, come out here and get a big win on the road against you know like probably one of the best teams in the AFC right now. Um, that's huge. So we're excited. To kind of throw back football, great defense, lots of bad weather. Mm-hmm. Y'all take pride in playing that way. It was a fun game. It definitely was fun. That, that's that's football right there. Mud game. Yeah, you know they they started rolling a little bit there, and we had to we had to check ourselves and you know bring it back in. Um, you know they scored two two touchdowns pretty much back to back, so um, we just had to control that. Which, I mean, what does it mean to get that kind of uh, performance from Desmond today? Oh, he balled. Was that he, two picks? Yeah. yeah, that's huge. Teammates too. I mean, defense played great. I I mean, there's always room to, for improvement, and we're gonna have to look at the film and you know. Um, we want to always be better. We would love to have a shutout, but, <clears throat> you know, we're excited. We just got, you know, all we can think about right now is the next game. Um, I don't even know who we have next. Who we have next? The Jets, yeah. we got. Then now we got to just focus on the Jets. 1-0 every week. And we haven't felt that feeling in a long time, so it was good. It was really good. All right, guys, thank you. Uh, I'm good. Eric, was, um, when, you know, when you guys watched the tape, he had taken pretty good care of the ball most of the season. Was there something you saw from him on the tape that allowed you guys to carry out the ball? Right um, I think the conditions uh, play a little role in that. Um, he looked like he just, it took a lot of effort to throw the ball because it was wet outside and things like that. So I think that played a good role in it. Talk a little about the overall performance of the defense. This franchise has never had 10 turnovers in two games. I mean, man, we just being opportunistic, and we going out there and we playing together as a team. And everybody's uh, performing their assignment at a high level, and uh, we're a pretty good group of guys together, and we have fun. So, what did it mean to get Desmond step up like he did? Today? Um, it was huge. I mean, in the past couple of years, Des always been a, a very versatile and big time player playing nickel and things like that. So, um, he made the transition, and uh, he's doing a good job out there. What does a win do for the locker room? I mean, it's big, man. I mean, you could hear it over there on the other side. Uh, just wins in this league, they don't come easy. Um, and to go out there and perform like we did uh, on the road, it was big. Early in the game, they ran the ball well. Maybe y'all, y'all contained them. What adjustments did you We just playing a lot really downhill, um, playing really gap discipline, and uh, that's really all it takes. And then you just make the tackle when you get there. Yeah, I came down a lot of fourth down stops with you guys. What, what in those moments did y'all see? Why, why were y'all so successful in uh, In those moments, you just got to man up. Um, a lot of fourth and short, third and short uh, situations like that, and it's, it's man on man, and uh, we want more than them today. So. Is it, in your opinion, one of the more physical games of the season? Uh, yeah, it definitely. Um, they play a physical brand of football, and um, we had to come up to the challenge, and I think we did that today. Can a win like this, records aside, can it be something that you guys can build on? Oh, um, that most definitely. Uh, anytime you get a win, it's, it's good to go into the next week with a W, and you can build on it. and. Uh, Anything after that, I mean, you just play hard and, and keep going. Good. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, uh, we uh, called a option route for Rex on that one. Um, defensive line. I uh, kind of got in the vision of him, so I stepped left to get a uh, better side of Rex and realized that it was it was room to run and uh, was able to make a play. I felt the defensive guy was probably going to go low, so I went high. Just a good guess, I guess. What was through your head? Getting the end zone. 
Uh, you know, with the offense, I mean, you, you ran a couple of times in this game. How much did you feel like that added to uh, y'all's offense play? Um, I think it definitely added to it, but it was also just a, a flow of the game. Um, obviously, when you get conditions like this, um, some stuff um, you feel comfortable with, some stuff you have to get away from um, until the conditions slow down a little bit. But uh, I think Coach Kelly done a great job of, of, of calling uh, calling the game today um, and putting the guys in the right position to go out and make plays. Guys up front done a great job of um, handling their front seven um, and Receivers made plays on the back end when the opportunity presented itself. They were trying to sustain drive a lot from the last game to this. I mean, early on, you were able to do that. What, what led into that? And what, what uh, just that? execution. Um, like I tell you, every week, um, it boils down to us executing. Uh, the talent is in that locker room. Um, obviously, some guys are injured, um, but we every time we step on the field, we're confident in, uh, in everyone that's dressing out. And um, the talent is there. It's just about us going out and executing. And I think. Uh, when we're executing in all cylinders, it shows. And um, just proud of the way the guys went out and fought today. What, what was David Culley's message to you guys after the game? Uh, proud of the way we fought. Um, obviously, to come on the road in a division, uh, division game, divisional game uh, with the team that was uh, on a win streak, it definitely feels good to get that win. Obviously, it wasn't a clean game. Uh, well, it wasn't a perfect game. It was, it was, it was a win. It was a win for us, obviously, but it wasn't a perfect game. So it's still stuff to clean up, um, and we'll do that. But um, like you said, <clears throat> like you mentioned to you guys last week, and uh, like we spoke in the locker room and in our team meeting, it's one of one and no mindset. You know, we got to continue to keep taking that on for the rest of the season. Was it harder, was it harder to have that one and no mindset when you guys were losing? No, I mean each week is a new week. Um, obviously, you can't take a loss. Um, to the next week. It's easier said than done, obviously, but as a player, you have to put it behind you and uh, continue to keep pressing forward. And I mean, this league, it shows you week in and week out, any team is is capable of winning a football game. Knowing how much this man Cully, did y'all consider giving him a game ball? I'll say that one more time. Knowing how much this man Cully, did y'all consider giving him a game ball? Um, uh, we'll discuss that with the leadership group. Um, I'm pretty sure it's something um, that's deserving. I mean, it's something that's We've been fighting for it for a long time now. Uh, well, it was eight eight weeks um, losses, and that's tough to go through um, as a coach, as a player, as an organization. Uh, but it was great to come out and get this win on the road today versus a team that was, uh, like I said, hot. Does it feel like it's been 63 days since your last road touchdown? Nah, it doesn't feel that way. But thanks for putting that in perspective. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I think anytime you win, I mean, obviously it's tough to, to learn from each and every game, re- regardless of the outcome. But when you win, um, it's just a team morale that's up. And I think it's an opportunity for us to build and continue to keep moving forward. What were some of the things that were tightened up in the offense in the second half? Maybe the Titans were doing, maybe all slowed down a bit. What led to that? Oh, we had a couple penalties. Um, our first and second down wasn't as efficient as early on in the in the game. Um, I think that's when we're at our best. Obviously, when you're standing third and manageable, and when you're getting second and short, so second and medium um, versus second and long, or not getting what you wanted to get on the first down. So um, we have to be better at that area. But um, overall, it was a great job of overcoming some of that. Um, the defense played well. Uh, the special teams played their butts off as well too. So hats off to the guys in our locker room. Last two, you've been in the day to day during you know, the losing streak. How much like does it help to have the day to day whenever you want to be? Say that one more time. Well, how much does the day to day change when you win? Um, I think the routine still stays the same. Obviously, the mindset um, is what it is. We continue to find ways to get better, um, challenging um, each person in the locker room each and every day to bring their best. Um, attitude and their best game, and just the best preparation, um, and, and see what that what that takes us um, on game day. Last one. What did you see from Rex as a downfield runner? I mean, just what did you think of him today? Rex done a great job. Um, he's obviously a great back. He's played a lot of football. Um, done a great job in the running game as well as we trust him in the passing game as well too. Um, all the backs done a great job. So, like I said, proud of those guys, and going to need to continue to keep having those guys play well for us to be successful. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. God bless. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm um, just doing my job, um, doing what's expected. Um, the defense played really well today. We played together. 
Um, I think we played really well together for all four quarters, and we didn't give up. We bent, but we didn't give up. We fought back and just, you know, just kept doing our job. Um, just, just showing like the, the the chip that we play with, the grit that we play when we take the field. Like it's it, it's literally all or nothing. We plan every play as it's a critical play. Every down is critical for us, and that's that's how we we approach it each week. How would you describe the way the defense played today? Tough, smart, and physical. You know, we didn't we didn't do anything that could jeopardize the team. We played together. Um, we did our job creating turnovers. We got five of them today. Um, and just, you know, we helped the team get over the hump. On that second pick, I think it was, it was like a back, almost like it looked like the Pierce. Um, just reading, just reading tendencies. Saw the quarterback the whole time, just staring him down. And um, I, I think that's what Coach Levy preaches, you know, the, the, that's where the ball going to go, wherever the quarterback's looking. So I just felt that hand come off the ball, and I was like, that's my chance to go. Um, we, we just knew like, you know, he's really more of a play action type quarterback and just drop backs. He's, he is, it's a weakness of his. So, I mean, that's just something that we kind of picked up just watching film. And I knew, you know, what plan with him last year, um, just a little things about him, you know, and how he do and what he, what he, what he looked for in the, during the play. Excuse me. Uh, no, that's just me just simply doing my job, and that's that's what I'm supposed to do. That's what's expected out of me. That's expected out of our team. Uh, we got high standards, and that's what Coach Levy preaches each and every week. Derek Murray talked about Marty Smith talking about the quarterback and leading the quarterback. Mm-hmm. Uh, collectively, was that something that took some time to be able to understand? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, <clears throat> this team, it's it's fairly new. Like everybody on the defense side, offense side, we coming from all different type of places and different defensive schemes, and he brought us here for a reason. Like, we got the potential to be something special. And, yeah, it took a while for us to kind of learn it. I feel like, you know, now the second half of the season is coming in and it's starting to kind of mesh together a lot more now. Is that as, like, a, I know you've been in the slot a lot of your career. Is that kind of anti, like, what you've been doing a lot? Do you feel like you're more man-focused? Um, it's, it's pretty. It's, it's a difference, for sure, uh, playing inside and outside. Um but with this scheme that we play, it's 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 a lot. It's I would say it's a lot more pressure on the outside guys because it's more more isolated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.